Hi and welcome back. Here we're going to be looking at the AI players. Uh, my question is, are they AI players? I'm not quite sure. I mean, it's weird um, because the drummer is exactly the same as the other stuff, more or less, I think. And it kind of doesn't really learn anything. It just adapts uh, to what's there already. So like, if, if there's chords, it will just play around with the chords a bit like the arranger keyboards that we have and the ones back in the 90s were doing this already you can just play a chord and the whole backing track would just follow what you're playing so this is exactly the same so i don't see or understand why it's ai i understand the stem splitters app are ai because it goes in and does all kind of wonderful stuff but this i'm not sure it's i mean are they just using that as a kind of um I know marketing tool or something. It's a bit strange. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure it's AI. Uh, I'd like to be enlightened on that. Anyway, I'm going to import this track here. Here's the Central Park Piano One, which is in the Apple Loops. And just as you can see this icon, this means it's uh, a virtual player. So it's a piano. I brought it in and it's created a chord track automatically, right? So if we play this. So uh, obviously it's quite static and quite a bit basic, but you can play around with it here a lot. You can go in and choose different patterns here. Which... See, she's pretty. Let's give it a rhythm there. So I just... Uh, uh, it's quite, it's quite, you know, you've got some options here. And uh, then you can play with the feel, you can play with the complex, the com, what was it? Feel and the complexity, yeah. Feel and complexity, intensity, uh, complexities here as well. And you can choose hands here. Uh, it's pretty. Okay, so that's that's just a piano. So let's just go on to uh, creating a bass track. So if we go up here and we're going to create a session uh, drummer, so a session drummer, okay, create, then it will create a session drummer to go with that. Okay, so. Uh, Same with the bass player. Let's create a bass player. Okay. And uh... now this has been tuned down to minus four because I think the actual what I've got here is it's automatic and it's going it's following the playing the project's key so this you can then play around with and uh you can actually change uh, the bass player here uh, so if you want something a bit more um funky uh this goes slap for example go over to that So, so we've kind of got a nice little rhythm going there, but um, it's not exactly what I want. I've been playing around with it, and I've got a, a saved file that I've been working on, and I've tried to create a guitar from the from the actual uh, uh, piano uh, track. So let me just load that up. So here you can see I've uploaded uh, another version that I've been working on a little bit. So what I did on the uh, piano, I put a Rhodes on it, and I changed the... Uh, I changed the performance of it a bit and I've kept, uh, uh, I copied the other channel to try and make a, a guitar on it. Um, let me just uh, pull this up a bit so you can see that better. So, here. So it's a nice and smooth, the, the roads. As you can 
he see here. So, um, yeah, we have um, this. I've changed to, I converted to MIDI so I could play with the chords. So you can, what you do here, you just, if I'm on this track here, you just go uh, convert, convert to MIDI region, and that will create a, a MIDI region, which I've got here. And uh, here I put a guitar on. I've played around with the drums as well. I put a chroma glow on it, and I changed it to Neo Soul. And the slap, I changed the rhythms about a bit. And uh, it's quite cool, it's quite cool. So as you can see, I have the uh, rhythm going on here on a MIDI channel. Go. So what I'm trying to do is uh, create a guitar here. So what I've done is I've put a guitar on it, which is uh, from the uh, stock library guitar, round track, round back acoustic. Uh, and um, basically it's... And I put some step effects on it. Narrow gate. So as you can see, um, I've got step effects on there, which are here. And uh, obviously it's mapped out on my uh, CS12. Uh, uh, everything's working great. And um, yeah, it's um, it's pretty, pretty damn useful. Um, I kind of, well, I kind of mixed feelings about the AI thing. Uh, I'm not sure it's AI, like I said earlier on, um, because this has been around for a bit. This drumming thing we had before. So, so with the um, with the guitar with the guitar I've made, I can't really say it's a guitar, but it, it gives you options. So with the script, the script gives it a, a, a strumming feel. But but we have a problem with the script. But the script seems to change the notes. I don't know why. There's something wrong with the script. It, it kind of. Yeah, down the bottom it sounds weird. But I'll tell you what we could try is taking off these bottom notes. Maybe the and just keeping the top top notes so there's only like these take these ones out, delete them. Just see what this sounds like. Uh see what I Of course, we can play around with the step effects as well and get different effects on there if you want. Um, but I won't spend too much time on this. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm kind of um, like, you know, playing around here. But um, yeah, I like that. It's nice. It's nice. Um, and... Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm I still don't know if this is AI or not. Let me know what you think. Um, what you think of it? Uh, I kind of feel it's a bit. Uh, it's been done before uh, with a range of keyboards and stuff like that. So I'm not quite sure where the AI bit comes in, because for me AI is machine learning. It's something that learns and adapts. This doesn't really do that. This just follows what you put in and has options. So yeah. Anyway, we'll see what where it goes. Uh, the AI thing in the future. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.